visit to the Blessed Sacrament from the writings of St. Peter Julian Amard. The Hidden God. Verily thou art a hidden God, the God of Israel, the Savior. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. We can understand why the Son of God loved man enough to become man himself. The Creator must have been set on repairing the work of his hands. We can also understand how, from an excess of love, the God-man died on the cross. But something we cannot understand, something that terrifies those of little faith and scandalizes unbelievers, is the fact that Jesus Christ, after having been glorified and crowned, after having completed his mission here below, wanted still to dwell with us, and in a state more lowly and self-abasing than at Bethlehem, than on Calvary itself. With reverence, let us lift the mysterious veil that covers the Holy of Holies, and let us try to understand the excess of love which our Savior has for us. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as one who has already come and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Visit to the Blessed Virgin Mary from the book A Month with Mary, A Profound Reform of Heart, in the School of Mary, by Don Dolindo Ruotolo, the second day. My heart and the heart of Mary. Mary speaks, My little child, your mother is calling you and showing you what distinguishes her as mother, the heart. Draw near to my heart, kiss it, and experience how burning is its love for you. God has submerged his mercies in it and wants it to be the center of regeneration for those children whom he has entrusted to me. You are my child, and so entrust yourself to the heart of your mother who loves you so much. The soul speaks, If you show me your heart, Mary, I will also show you mine. How much smallness there is in my little heart. You are immaculate and pure, the delight of God, and I am full of imperfections and faults. You love God immensely, and I am so cold toward him. You are so full of gifts and graces, and I am your little poor one. O oh, my mother, I place my heart in yours. Work on it, lift it up into the holy love of God. Reform it. It's so ugly, even if I don't really know it yet, because I am so blinded by pride. Tear the re secrets from it, tear the secrets from this heart, curtail its self deceptions with your light, adorn it with virtues by the help of your grace, so that I can truly call myself your child. Mary speaks, If you want to know your heart, measure it against mine. Don't believe that all is evil within you, nor that all is good. Don't be discouraged or presumptuous but recognize your weaknesses with filial simplicity without hiding them from your sight and without getting irritated. Always remain in peace and I will help you to reform yourself. O heart of Mary, be my model and the refuge of my poor heart. The little work today, deprive yourself of something superfluous to which you feel attached. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners.